a new part, we notice that over here it just says, OK, part whatever, and there's the base coordinate system which we can turn on and off, and there's the base reference planes we can turn on and off, but there's nothing else there. But as soon as we go out and draw a shape, We'll just draw some shape like this and extrude it back. As soon as we do that, it says, oh, you just drew a box. And now, if we went out and drew this cylinder here, so there's a cylinder. So it's keeping a record of all these shapes that we're drawing. OK, and now there's a sphere. If we go out and do another cut right here, and let's just draw a couple of cuts here and a circle. And maybe just a little sketch right here. And watch what happens. Every one of these that I cut out, when I push that through, it says, oh, there's a cutout. So it recognizes all these as cutouts. Cut out one, cut out two, cut out three. So if we went up here and did um, anything else, if we rounded an edge, it says, OK, you've got a round edge there. So this is keeping a history of all the things we do. Now, if there's something you don't like and you want to get rid of, it's sort of hard to come and just pick it from here sometimes. You can pick it from here. But if we tried to delete it from there, sometimes it doesn't work. But if we come over here, and if we go back, we see our cylinder, we can just see, OK, we did the box, and it highlights, there's that cylinder. I want to get rid of that cylinder. So I select it here from the feature tree and hit Delete, and it's gone. And there's that sphere, and there's a cutout. Now, if I'd like to get rid of this cutout too, I just click on that, hit Delete key, and it's gone. And maybe I'd like to get rid of the sphere now. Hit delete, and it's gone. 